Matapos ng ibuking ni na Perwin Espinosa at Colonel Garma ang ginawang kasalanan ni Bato de la Rosa noong Administrasyong Duterte, tila natakot na nga itong humarap sa ilang mambabatas dahil sa kahihiyan. Ayon sa balita agad nga daw na lumabas ng bansa si Bato ng isang bulat ni na Espinosa at Garma ang lahat-lahat dahil sa takot nitong mabilanggo, samantala hanggang ngayon naman daw ay patuloy pa din na pinaghahanap si Bato matapos nga daw nitong tumakas. Narito panuuri ng ilang ebidensya na magpapatunay na nagsasabi umano ng totoo si Nagarma at Espinosa. Mr. Chair, kasi um, nagiging culture po kasi ng PNP po na pag ang RD ay malipat o ang PD may dinadala pong opisyal. Okay? So yung iba, pagdala mo yung opisyal, pwede mong ilagay kung saan pwesto na qualified naman po silang ilagay. Pero during that time po, meron din pong sitwasyon na um, some would volunteer. That they volunteer? Could, yeah. So merong nagbo-volunteer? Nagbo-volunteer, uh, which is I think naman po is nagagrant kung minsan because they would say that they can deliver. And what can they deliver? Ano yung, yung bakit, ano? Mga projects po sa area, sa war on Mag drugs Be po. specific, para lang for our education, ah, kasi hindi mm, naman namin naintindihan. Yeah. Ano yung sinabi mong project, ano yun? Example po, Mr. Chair, alimbawa lang po, like, um, mag-regional chief ka, alimbawa po, ng isang unit sa IDG. In the case po of Sir Marcos po. Si uh, Colonel Marcos. Yeah. I okay. think uh, mayroong arrangement Colonel, yan. can you speak louder? Yes. May, may arrangement niya na he could deliver um, mga big fish in the area. So, Just to give him the opportunity to lead the unit, it's easier. Mga ganun po, uh, yung iba naman po, nakakapagtrabaho, Tama naman po yung trabaho, hindi naman po lahat po ay masasabi mong hindi tama po yung ginawa. Ano, ano bang ibig sabihin nung makakadeliver? Halimbawa, na, is Colonel Marcos still, uh, still here, no? Uh, um, so, anong ibig sabihin nung uh, makakadeliver? It's a lingo po sa PNP during that time na if you, were, you, you, you use the word deliver, ay mahuhuli mo yung malaking big fish. Mahuhuli? Le yeah, level 1, level 2, at uh, sigurado po uh, patay po. In the case of Colonel Marcos, eh, siya ba yung nag-volunteer? Ang pagkakaalam ko po. Siya nag-volunteer? Oh, yes, sige. sir. Mamaya, Pagkakaalam natin. ko lang po. Tatanungin natin siya. So, in order for us to understand fully kung ano yung konteksto nung sinasabing drug war, uh, in the previous hearing, uh, Chairman Akop has tasked uh, the Director General of the Biteya no, to, to help us understand ano ba itong drug list, ano ba itong narco list. And in that uh, uh, request by Congressman Akop, we put that into motion where uh, during that time, uh, it was unanimously ap approved by the committee. So, may we ask now, DPDEA, kung meron ba kayong uh, pwedeng i-submit, ipakitang report dito sa committee ito? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We will uh, show to you how uh, the drug list came about. And this is very crucial uh, in relation to the story of... Uh, Ms. Garma. So, in other words, DG, uh, masusuportahan nyo yung sinasabi ni Colonel Garma? As far as the making of the drug list, sir, is concerned. Okay. Do you, yes, will you yes, submit sir. to us or are you going to make a presentation? We will give you a copy, sir, but uh, again, we ask for your indulgence. Uh, please find time to look at it because we assure you that after you, after we finish the presentation, you will understand how this list came about. And Sige, please. Yes, uh, I would like to request uh, our uh, Director for Intelligence, uh, Director Bitong, sir, to brief. Okay. 
So with the indulgence of the members of the committee, we will allow uh, the PIDEA to make this uh, presentation or this report uh, before the Quadcom. Please proceed. Um, uh, please uh, bear with me, sir, as uh, I try to read it so that I can deliver it crisply and uh, clearly. Uh, this is a uh, base. Uh, we try to be very uh, faithful to the data that uh, uh, were made available to us. Next. So actually, sir, what I'm showing is the hi history of the PRRD's list. In several locations, the former president showed lists and mentioned drug personalities in his public appearances. On August 7, 2016, he mentioned Mayor Mabilog along with 159 others. Next. In December 2016, the first president drug list, or popularly known as PRR the list or narco list, was obtained. On September 28, 2017, the second list was obtained. This was merged with the first list. The total personalities combined were now at 6,191. 6, On October 19, 2017, during the technical working group meeting, the TWG included in the list the personalities mentioned by PRRD on August 7, 2016. Thus, the total 6,221. 30 out of 159 new personalities were added. The others also mentioned were already in the list. In March 2018, the third list with 6,623 was received. The first, second, and third list was combined removing redundancies resulting to a total of 6,562 personalities. During this period, series of intelligence workshops, the crafting of policies and guidelines, and remedied subcommittee meetings were conducted. It was on 28 May 2019 when the President's Drug List was renamed Interagency Drug Information Database, or IDID. From May 14, 2021 to April 7, 2022, three remedied committee meetings were conducted. Out of 1,046 POIs adjudicated by the remedied committee, only 885 were approved. 600 POIs recommended for deletion, 249 for relegation to suspense file, and 36 for retention and 153 POIs remain pending. This is the current ID, the working database that is the product of Premedid from the first, second, and third list. Upon the assumption of PBBM, the committee members conducted several consultation meetings. A letter signed by current SILG as chairman, the former SILG as chairman of Premedid committee proposing that the solution of the remedied guidelines and procedures was forwarded to the Office of the President on May 24, 2024. This is yet to be approved. Meanwhile, the different regional adjudication committees are continuously deliberating their ideas. In our effort to uh, come up with a comprehensive strategy, PIDEA obtained the following e copies as shown. When PIDEA was tasked to study the origin of PRRD list, PIDEA gathered versions from other sources as shown. First on the list is the new target list. It is uh, the file name. It was recovered from old PIDEA files. The original list in August 2020 was acquired by the Director General of PIDEA on September 2024. 
The PRR released pro NIR was recovered by the Deputy Director General for Operation, Asek Renato Gumban. And the ID list is the working database maintained by PIDEA, processed from first, second, the PRRD pronouncement, and the third list. I will show you, sir, the details of the different list. Going to the details, shown are the properties and contents of the different list. Comparing the five Excel e-copies, we come up with the following results. New target list and original list are the same with 3,981 names. The August 2020 NPRRD list pro NIR have minor differences. File name PRR the list pro NIR has only 31 worksheets compared to August 2020 with 32 because it contains worksheet NIR. I did the official list of premedid committee has a total of 6,276. Let me just uh, note that uh, Attorney Wesley A. Barayuga, the PCS official killed on July 30, 2020, was included in August 2020 and PRR the list pro NIR, but never in IDID. Going deeper, sir. You will note, sir, that uh, the new target list is authored by PNPCIDG, as well as the original list, PNPCIDG. And the next, the August 2020, is authored by a certain Ianism, as well as PRRD list pro NIR. While the IDID has no more author because this is a working uh, uh, database. Upon checking the properties of the same five Excel files, particularly the original list, it has the PNPC IDG and Ianism as the authors, four of which were created last July 25, 2016, while the IDID was created last November 15, 2022. Because, as, as I said, it is a working database, database and properties change every updating. The next slide. This is what uh, we were talking about earlier. This slide shows notable differences among the lists. On the left is worksheet found in the new target list and original list. This contains five levels with description in a column for amount. On the right is worksheet found in file name August 2020 and PRRD list pro NIR. These have only four levels with description and an evaluation. These do not have the amount column. In the I did list, all these worksheets are not included. Next. This slide is a photo gallery of high value target found in the list. On the left, the new target list, original list, and I did list contain fewer photos than the one on the right with file name August 2020 and PRRD list pro NIR. On the next slide, shows a photo gallery of alleged Binondo personalities found on the list. Just like the previous slide, the new target list, original list, and I did list on the left contain fewer photos than the one on the right with file name August 2020 and PRRD list pro NIR. In both lists, Dapical personalities Jackson Lee and Wong Meng Pin are included. Our findings. There is indeed the President's drug list, commonly known as PRR the list. All four lists obtained were authored on July 25, 2016. 
File name, new target list, and original list are both authored by PNP CIDG. The file name PRRD, Pro NIR, and August 2020 have same author, Yanism. These were recently obtained and did not undergo official validation by the remedy. There are many inconsistencies and differences between the different lists. The counts of personalities vary. There are double or triple entries, many aliases, insufficient details, the top high value target of personalities with some names on the picture gallery are not included in the list. There are also inconsistent recapitulation and numbering on the sheets. The three Chinese killed in Tapical are inclu included in the list. The original list contained the amount column. Mayor Mabilog was not included in the original list until October 19, 2017, two months after second list was received. And attorney Wesley Barayuga was included only in August 2020 and PRRD list pro NIR, but never in ID or the official list. That ends our briefing, sir. Mr. Chair, can I have just some uh, clarificatory questions? Uh, please proceed. Yeah, thank you very much. Just to the PDEA, uh, nabanggit niyo po kanina, uh, based on what I uh, gather, it was a list that was having a lot of revisions from the time that it started, correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, if it was being revised continuously, we were seeing deaths left and right since 2016 onwards. Uh, yes, Your Honor. So, how, do, how can we now say that those deaths and those operations were indeed validated through drug personalities? If, it's, if the list itself that served as the basis of the PNP to implement was not validated, nor was it um, final in nature. That was the predicament that uh, we had while we were trying to analyze the lists, Your Honor, because we found out that, let us, give, let us just take, for example, the first list or the original list. It was sent to PIDEA. It was studied by PIDEA. And when it was submitted back to the palace, that is what I understand, a second list would be given back to PIDEA. And it was observed that there would be some, there would be names included in the list that was being sent back to PIDEA. So parang, ano sir, uh, we, we checked on the list, we sent it forward, uh, we sent it upwards for them to uh, check on it hoping that it wouldn't be there would be no more names included but it was on the it was uh, it, it was the opposite there would be names again that would be included and so this continued until the third list Mr. and so Chair. as not to miss anything we already uh, so as not to miss anything the lists were already combined with each other to come up with the august 2020 list removing the names that were redundant or uh, maybe there were deaths already, so they were uh, uh, they were uh, removed from the list already. So that yeah. was the that was how the list evolved, Your Honor. Do we have somebody from the CHR here, Mr. Chair? Do we have a representative from the CHR? Y yes, uh, earlier they were here, but uh, after the the interview with the victims earlier, we allowed them to be excused okay. for this uh, particular... No, I just wanted to know lang, Mr. Chair, kasi um, base sa sinabi ng PDEA, it, it was around 2020 where, you know, a working draft that was actually validated uh, was finalized, more or less, correct? Your, your Honor, uh, just to make a clarification, the file name is dated August 20, 2020. But as early as uh, 20, 
19, no? Original, 20 yeah, questions. Yeah, second, second. Original one first. Yeah. yeah. Ito lang sila nag-aaral. Ito siya separate as a question. Yeah. The file name is only August 20, 2020, Your Honor, but as early as uh, 2019. Because after the NSE, oh, yes, sir. Uh, General Bitong will uh, explain, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Actually, starting uh, January 4 of 2016, sir, uh, it already undergo a TWG delibera deliberation. There is no remedy yet. Uh, it has Mr. not yet Mr. been Mr. approved. Ano? January 2016? No, sir. It's January 2017. Oh, yun, January 4, 2017. 2017. So, meaning, uh, it was on July 1 that the former president assumed office. So, it was not until the following year of the first month, January 2017, that this list was... Uh, how do you say it? Processed, correct? Uh, sir, may I... Uh, actually, sir, uh, starting Je July 4 of 2016, five days after the assumption, the president started showing already and announcing, showing in public uh, the president's list. So where, what was the basis of that list? We only got the official list on uh, January 4 of 2017. The first list. Um, Colonel Patay, uh, di ba tanong ko lang, di ba sabi nyo kanina na assigned kayo sa Davao Del? Del Norte po, Mr. Chair. Tapos, pagkatapos ng assignment nyo doon, anong, anong taon yun? Until uh, 2016 July, Mr. Chair. Huh? Until 2016 July. Can you speak louder? 2016 July, Mr. Chair. 2016 July. Tapos in 2016 July, saan po kayo nailipat? Sa, dito po sa NCRPO, Station 6 QCPD, Mr. Chair. NCRPO, Station 6. Nung kayo po ang uh, naipwesto dito, gano'ng katagal po kayo naglingkod dito po sa NCRPO, Station 6? Nga... Uh, 11 yata yun, Mr. Chair. 11 months from July to uh, September, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Chair. Doon po sa kabuuan nung uh, labing isang buwan, uh, maalala nyo po ba kung ilan ang uh, drug operations ninyo na nagresulta sa pagkamatay ng uh, suspect? Hindi ko po mga bigay yung exact figure, Mr. Chair. But more or less? I po ma estimate uh, last time, Mr. Chair, previous hearing, my guidance na po dito na ang listahan po ay, ma, na I, I think that it was submitted yata sa, dito sa committee na to, Mr. Chair. Yes, can you give me a ballpark figure? Uh, I was not able to look at the report, Mr. Chair. I cannot give the figure, Mr. Chair. Uh, po ako. Chairman Paduano, maybe you can uh, tell me? Anyway, just to correct your your statement, Colonel Patay, of course, baka nakalimutan mo na, you stayed in NCRPO, QC, station o oh, in Batasan. Station 6. Station 6, ah, station six nga, pero QC. Diba? QC, QC, QC. Yes, Mr. You were assigned here in the NCRPO July 1. Yes, Mr. And Chief. July 4, you were assigned as station 6 commander, tama? Uh, if these uh, records... Anyway, uh, yes, sir, sir. anyway, yung transfer mo pabalik doon sa CIDG? Uh, CIDG after my assignment dito sa Station 6, Mr. Correct. Chair. And that is September. Yes, so Mr. more Chair. you stayed in Station 6 more than a year. Yes, Mr. Chair. More than a year. Ah, more than a year. Now, during the previous hearing sa Committee on Human Rights, as reported, the data shows that more than 100 was killed, which is drug-related uh, operations. Uh, Mr. Chair, I cannot confirm or deny that uh, data. And that Mr. is the data presented to us, not you, but the CHR. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Congressman Paduano. So anyway, so Colonel Patay, dun sa panahon na 
in-implement nyo po itong uh, madugong gera laban sa droga. Uh, sabi na nga po na mahigit isang daan ng buhay na nasawi. Ano po ang pinagbasihan po ninyong listahan? Uh, that's what, that was based on the reports from the BADAC Mr. Chair and Intel reports coming from the uh, Intel of the, our unit, Mr. Chair. Intel of the PNP. Uh, there was there were already there was already a list uh, in the stations uh, produced uh, or stored coming from the Badak Mr. Chair because uh, during that time the barangay officials were very cooperative on that uh, campaign, Mr. Chair. So anyway, ang ang akin lang pung medyo nakaka dala ng konti, hindi naman konti kasi ang malaking uh, pangamba, Mr. Chairman, is Pideya said that it was a working draft, this list that was used as basis to implement the drug war. And it was not until 2020 was an interagency um, task force was created to have a still a processing draft of a list. And that was 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. That was four years after the assumption. How many lives were lost during that time? The question now is, doon sa mga namatay at inoperate, ilan doon ba talaga yung inosente at hindi dapat nasa listahan? Kasi yung mismong listahan na pinagbabasihan eh hindi pa nga final in nature, Mr. Chair. So, um, suguro, uh, Mr. Chair, I, one of my requests is for PDEA to give us this list and we can cross-match it to those individuals that were, um, how do you say it, unjustly, um, lost their lives, and then we can see um, really the loopholes in the implementation of this drug war. That's my point, Mr. Chair. Marami salam. Okay. Salamat, uh, Congressman uh, Suarez. So the next to interpolate is uh, Congressman Dan Fernandez. You have 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> salamat po. So uh, we have invited yung uh, sa PCSO, no? Uh, we are very sorry, you know, na turnover <laughs> So, overturn tayo ng mga events and uh, even uh, all other um, uh, officers from PNP, sila Balindog, sila Biliela, Crialdo. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll just uh, uh, limit my question kay um, GM uh, Rohina Garma, no? Kasi medyo ngayon lang namin na-receive yung, uh, yung um, affidavit. So, uh, Meron lang akong gusto nga uh, tanong dito, uh, ano, uh, Ma'am Rohina, no? Uh, but uh, of course, hindi namin po natin na uh, stop, Mr. Chairman, yung sa PCSO dahil uh, meron din po mga issues doon that uh, need to be clarified, no? Uh, Ma'am uh, Rohina, kasi dito sa sinabi mo rito that um, uh, tinawagan ka ni Presidente, former President Duterte, 5 a.m. in the morning. And during that time that uh, you were with him, uh, kayo lang bang dalawa? No, Mr. Chair. Sinong kasama nyo sa sakyan? Ah, yeah, yeah, it's just the two of us, sir, Mr. Chair. So, ikaw ang sumundo kay uh, former president? Uh, I have my vehicle kasi, so nag-drive ako papunta doon. And then sabi niya, sasakay na lang siya sa loob na sasakyan. So you were driving the car? Yes, sir. And uh, this is a uh, useful thing for you to do with the former president when um, you were still the uh, chief of police of Davao. Hindi naman, Mr. Chair. So, hindi siya regular na ginagawa niyo na nag sinusundo mo siya doon? Or, no? Kasi no, very no. unusual yung... No, Mr. Chair, that was the first time that first time I, to? Uh, pinapunta ako doon. Yes. At nagtaka ka rin dahil presidente na siya noon. Uh, uh, President-elect na siya. Yes, Mr. Chair. Taka and uh, this was uh, May 2016. Hindi pa siya nag-oath. Yes, Mr. Chair. 
And uh, do you have uh, some inkling on what okay. you were going to uh, talk about or wala naman? Hindi ako nagtatanong kasi Mr. Chair. I just complied with the instructions. Bakit ka pinagkakatiwalaan ng former president? I was uh, a bit ano, uh, a bit uh, uh, con hindi naman confused but suddenly para lang nabibigla lang ako because uh, uh, you were denying your relationship with her. Ah, with him, right? Uh, even there are uh, issues about you and the former president having a romantic relationship in accordance to what we have uh, read doon sa mga issue that was uh, tackled by uh, uh, Montulfo. You will uh, be denying that uh, you have a, uh, a relationship with the former president? Yes, Mr. Chair. At uh, yung pagtitiwala sa'yo, uh, paano nag-start yung pagtitiwala? Kasi uh, there must be something on it that's the reason why he called you and he was with you. Ano yun? Um, Mr. Chair, um, kung titignan mo kasi yung structure ng officer sa Davao City Police Office, I am the most senior female police officer. And the first time that I reported also sa Davao City Police Office when he was the mayor and I was just a lieutenant during that time, uh, it appears that I'm the first PNPA officer who was assigned in Davao City. I think it was his first time to encounter, I was only 23 years old during that time. So parang naging familiar din siya sa akin. And then when I work uh, sa Davao City Police Office, na mayor siya or naging vice mayor siya, perhaps siguro nakita niya rin yung how I work, Mr. Chair. Until um, eventually, nung naging senior na po yung rank ko, as an admin uh, officer, I would attend mga conferences and I am the only uh, female officer present in the room and I used to be the spokesperson of the station commanders because nahiya sila magtanong. So in other words, matagal kayong, ano, mag, matagal kayong nagkasama sa trabaho. It's all about work. Yes, Mr. Chair. Walang Kaya. something that uh, niligawan ka niya or naging... Uh... To some, it would appear na parang naligaw but uh, for me, it's just naman po, just work, Mr. Okay. Chair. Okay. Uh, dito kasi may binabangkit ka, no? yung, um, well, kanina na-mention na yun, yung tatlong level, no? yung patayan, tapos babayaran, tapos yung uh, pondo dun sa plant operation. Kasi binanggit mo dito na mayroong pondo para sa plant operation. And the Congress is allotting funds for a uh, COPLAN. Meron tayong pondo eh, sa COPLAN eh. Yes. Why meron pang pondo na binibigay? Is this a separate fund aside from the co-plan that are being utilized by the uh, uh, by the station Mr. or uh, it's all the same yeah mr chair in reality sa ground wala naman talagang punto binibigay ng pnp sa co-plan yung mga co-plan lang na napupundohan national level yan kung meron man but station level pag magkanta ka ng mga simultaneous service of search warrant iko-co-plan mo yan because you need the uh, support of other agencies you will deploy agents you need money and you need to pay your agents so gagawa ka ng co-plan hindi po yan ina-approve ng PNP so ang ginagawa ng local police they would go to the mayor and ask for funding ng COPLAN. Ganyan po ang normal na nangyayari po sa ground, Mr. Chair. Hindi po yung pupuntahan ng provincial office or na regional office. So in other words, walang uh, pondo na nilalaan sa bawat istasyon kapag nagkakaroon sila ng COPLAN. At uh, the uh, PNP or the um, uh, yung mag-operate ng COPLAN have to uh, source it out. No? So, yun ang sinasabi mo. So, sino si Mooking? Kasi may sinabi ka dito, si uh, a certain Mooking contacted um, you. Is he uh, Mooking uh, Espino? Es, parang Espino, Espina. Yeah, it's a stop, a stop po ni, ano po yan, sa City Hall, uh, uh, sa office po ni uh, Sir, Sir Bongo during that time. Stop to ni Senator Bongo? Yes po, during that time. Anong pangalan niya? Actually, I, for, I forgot, Mr. Chair, but she's known with that name, Mooking. Yeah, and, and here, ano, no, may... Espina or Espino? Espina. Espina or Espino. I'm, anyway, uh... It can be verified anyway, Mr. Siguro, Mr. Chair. Chairman, uh, to, be, to give clarity, you know, on this uh, statement uh, made by uh, Rohina uh, Garma, uh, let's invite this uh, Mooking Espino. 
you know, uh, in the next uh, hearing. No? Okay. And, uh, sige po, Mr. Chair. Comsec, uh, please take note and send invitation for our next uh, Quadcom hearing. Uh, Mr. Chairman, and, uh, I think that uh, certain mooking is assigned uh, during the time from the bow. I think he's USEC doon sa PMS. Kaya hindi check na lang, Comsec. Would, would you know the the complete and full name of uh, of uh, booking? So we can check the records already. Comsec, please coordinate with the PMS uh, and invite the the name Mooking. And on uh, number 12, no? Uh, uh, si Binabanggit, Binabanggit mo dito that you learned from Arthur Nasolis via phone that Leonardo had been summoned by the president and was instructed to proceed to Mandaya Hotel in Davao for a meeting. Uh, I, I think, uh, Mr. Chairman, we need to um, really uh, uh, ask the PNP to look for uh, Arthur Nasolis. Uh, what, what is the status of Arthur Nasolis with regards to this, uh, to this hearing, uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes, uh, earlier we asked uh, Colonel Kunanan, our liaison to uh, the Philippine National Police to coordinate with the uh, new uh, CIDG chief, no, General Torre, uh, and uh, help the committee locate um, uh, SPO for Artur Nasolis. He's very uh, material in this investigation. And uh, we need uh, his uh, testimony before this Quadcom, uh, was General he, Torre. Mr. Chairman, was he cited in contempt already? Yeah. See, uh, was cited in contempt. He was, yes, he was already cited okay. in contempt and there was an uh, order for his arrest. Thank you uh, so much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, number 14, uh, uh, Rohina, uh, you declined yeah. the invitation of uh, Leonardo. Uh, to join the uh, task force? Kasi dito sinasabi mo, nag-create ng task force. So uh, you decline. Why? In, uh, I don't have experience kasi wide experience uh, with regards to that, Mr. Chair. And during that time, um, there was an instruction and we had a meeting in uh, Davao. Uh, the President, Leonardo, Bongo, and I was there. I was called. There was a plan actually that I will join the PMS to handle the police and military matters. So, hindi ako talaga pede din doon. But eventually, hindi naman din natuloy lahat ang plano. And uh, hindi din ako sumali sa, as a staff sa Malacanang. And hindi din ako sumali po doon sa group. And then an order kasi was issued na rin sa akin to report sa CIDG after my schooling. And uh, what happened doon sa DPWH, uh, you uh, involve your, ano, yung mga classmates mo, mm -hmm. sila Bakay, Bilela, Grialdo, Tucson, and Duenas. Y yes, Mr. But Chair. But there was no meeting at all in accordance with your... Uh, yes, sa amin po, walang pumasok. Uh, Nagkwentuhan lang talagang, ano po, sir. Se separate room po kasi kami, so... Kami-kami lang po ang nag-usap, magka-classmate po. And in accordance with your affidavit, uh, number 19, after the court is called, which happened in uh, DPWH, Leonardo informed me that the structure of the intended task force would undergo changes. Ano yung changes na yun? Uh, nung una po kasi, yung ginawa pong parang structure is masyadong, uh, uh, what do you call this? Very structured po siya talaga, na merong head, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and maraming staff. So, ang nangyari po is na-change, naging simple na lang. Naging simple na meron ng in-charge, and then meron lang mag-handle ng, mag-verify siguro, mag-document, and etc. So, hindi na siya tulad na may Luzon na task force, Visayas, or Mindanao, which is so, originally, nakita mo yung, ano, yung yun structure ang plano. Na yun. Nakita mo yung structure na yun? Yung original uh, structure, nakita ko po, sir, kasi nga, uh, ako po yung nag-arrange ng meeting para yeah. i-discuss. Pero yung second na simple na, parang wala nang structure kasi 
naka parang in, in addition to your function parang ganyan na lang po nangyari sa sa IDG ito yung task mo ito yung task mo ito yung tasking so, mo uh, kasi I, we have received a uh, a uh, structure uh, that, that you have the, submitted to us that, that is how the flow looks lang po it's a diagram but not the structure hindi to pinaka structure mo. no it's just a diagram how communication uh, flows. flows yes mr chair it's oh. just a communication flow actually okay uh, from the top to the yeah, uh, bottom appeared, level. Yes, it would appear like that. All right. Way. So, uh, it's not a just, structure. just wanted to inform the uh, body that we have uh, received a, 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 a diagram of how the um, the uh, money flows, no? Uh, the communication. The communication flows. end? Yes. And it would appear also the money would come in. Uh, so, we will go with that. No, we will go with that. So, uh, dito sa task force na to. Oh, sige, go ahead. Uh, with the intelligence of uh, uh, Chairman Dan. Kasi ganito to po yun, pagkaintindi ko, si Colonel Rizardo proposes a task force, pero masyadong mabigat, di ba? Too heavy, di ba? Yes, now, ang implementation ng war on drugs, ang ginawa na lang po, po per unit, per region, per province, per uh, city, in which yung assignment of those trusted or quote-unquote war machine will be assigned individually. Tama po? Tapos, yung structure na yung, uh, yung diagram na pinakita mo, yun yung sistema ng reporting. Tama? Yes po. And Ayun at the same po. time, yun yung diagram that uh, the flow uh, with regards to reporting and uh, the reward system. Yes, Mr. Oh, so, so, ang assignment, kasi kanina tinanong si Colonel Patay, who assigned you, etc., etc., so, Colonel Patay, uh, actually, of course, manggagaling yun sa R1 o sa yung sa personnel dito. But, uh, uh, Colonel Patay was assigned in QC in that situation na wala pong task force. Colonel Patay was handpicked to be assigned in, in CRPO and particularly in QC. Parang ganon, di ba? Yung specific na magiging daloy uh, Colonel Garma, ma'am, uh, per assignment, sir, per individual. Pakiulit, sir. I'm, uh, I'm and then, ang sinasabi ko po, yung assignments of personnel or officers is based on the concentration of drugs, no? At the same time, wala pong task force dahil individual lang assignment ng bawat uh, trusted individual that should uh, implement such uh, uh, the VAW model. Ika nga. Um, I'm not too familiar po kung ganun ang lahat ng setup, but to some, nangyayari po yun. Eh, to some po naman po, dala-dala sila ng PD, dala-dala din po sila ng RD. Of course, I, I understand. Yes, if the PD is part of the selected people, that will be implementing such uh, directive, di ba? Yung war on drugs, tama? Uh, lahat po kasi required na mag-implement. Kaya nga, pero ang ibig ko sabihin, yes, for example, si Juan de la Cruz is in, in Negros o, o Bacolod City. Pag nandun yung bolto no, ng uh, drug, uh, drug uh, transactions and activities, eh kung si Juan de la Cruz is now the city director of that city, maintain siya, di ba? But in the case of Colonel Patay, for example, Kasi ganito na lang po, nandito naman lahat no, sila, except for, for Colonel Bilina. Dito na po, si Marcos nandito rin. Ito, ano na lang tayo dito, kasi you cannot lie the data and the records in your assignment. Example, Colonel Patay. Mr. In your Chair. case, 2017. Yes, Mr. Chair. You were assigned here. O, sinong bit-bit, bit-bit sa'yo? Who is the QCPD the time? Uh, General uh, Elisar, Mr. Chair. General Elisar? Elisar, Mr. Chair. Oh, during your time as uh, junior officer, do you have any assignments under Elisar? None, Mr. Chair. Oh, none? Oh, kita mo? You were assigned here not because you were brought or asked by General Elisar. You were brought here to implement this project. Ganon po, kahit yung Colonel Marcos. Well, in fact, Colonel Marcos, yung Colonel Laraga was demoted 
in that operation, but he was just suspended for four months. Diba? Ikaw, Colonel Pitalio, o saan ka na-assign na maraming namatay? Di ba you were assigned Laguna? Mr. Chair, Binyan po ako siya noon. O, oh, Binyan. Laguna Binyan. nga? Yes, sir, Laguna. O, oh, then you were assigned din Rizal. Tama? Kain ta, sir. O. Oh. Eh, eh ang, ang request ko lang dito, nandito kasi yung lahat na records yun eh. Tapos, magkatugma doon sa nangyari, napatayan yung mga namamatay. Kaya, I, I also understand that during the time, yung basic na instinct ng isang opisyal is promotion, of course, some perks, or else, or else, i-assign ka dun sa malalayo, or worst is, kakasuhan ka. And that happens. I have now the records. Lahat po, kahit yung kaklase nyo, kaya sabi ko nung kaan, 96, 97, marami pong magagaling dyan. Marami. Marami magagaling. But of course, you were for, some of you were forced during the time. Naintindihan ko yun. Naintindihan ko yun. But of course, you cannot lie because we have all your assignments and all the deaths happen in your assignment. But sabi ko na nga, you were forced to do it because or else, yung isa nyo nga niyang kaklase o underclass nyo yung isa, he was dismissed because of Alam mo, no? Yung pota. O, oh, ginawa siya ng problema. It turned out ngayon, yung motion niya, motion for reconsideration niya, was considered. Kasi, ang basis is all about the quota. Ayun yung sinasabi ko. At least, Ako ang sinasabi ko lang, alam na po namin lahat. Lalo na po ngayon si, si Ma'am Garma has already issued his affidavit. Mayroon pa po. Uh, I hope you understand. And don't force us to cite it in contempt. Kasi ano na ngayon dito? Punong-punong na po. Ako sinasabi ko, naintindihan ko kayo during the time. But this time, we don't want this to happen again, even in the next administration. Whoever sits in Malacanang, and I ask you to help us. Because this is not for me, this is not for the Quadcom, this is not for the House of Congress, this is for the people of this country. Yun lang po. Sana po, you cooperate, and you execute your affidavit so that we can now end this interpolation. Kasi darating din tayo doon. Sabi nga ni, ni Chairman Nakop nung nakaraan, eh, aabot din tayo doon. Yeah. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, I hope, I hope yung mga nandito, and don't you know, kahit si Colonel Tam Tuzon wala dito, papatawag din siya. Kasi kayo lang nabanggit eh, nung nakaraan. Kaya sinasabi na namin, kung hindi nyo pwedeng sabihin in open hearing, you execute voluntarily your affidavit. Kasi ganun din po, lalabas at lalabas din. For now, Mr. Chairman, that's all. I hope the gentleman in the PNP understand my position and my statement, Mr. Chairman.